My wife um, was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1996 and passed away five years later. My father was a cancer doctor. My mother died of lymphoma when I was 10 years old, and I held her hand when she died. For 100 plus years, we have been trying to treat cancer either by cutting it out, by irradiating it and killing it, or giving poisons to the body. We had a system that was built up that really was designed around the pharmaceutical companies, which built the industry on therapies that did not cure patients. They were based on therapies that failed. The Parker Institute is a cooperative, philanthropic effort that is poised to be able to transform the way we treat cancer. The idea that the Institute fosters big ideas, big bets, big research that allows people to open up to their deepest and most creative thoughts is the goal that we're all striving for. The new idea is to turn on the immune system to go around the body and find the cancer wherever it is and attack it. It's a fundamentally different way of thinking about the problem. It's my responsibility as head of the Institute to make sure that those ideas are translated from ideas to success. And the Parker Institute is gonna play a major role in allowing us to rapidly advance this field. The greatest potential of the Parker Institute, I think, is to, is to really help interactions between investigators at different institutions. The model of academic medicine in the United States and around the world has been mostly of groups working alone. The idea has to be another one. We need to create big banks, and the way that we do that is by putting individual egos aside and make progress for the sake of our patients. We get together every six months, we sit down at a table, freely discuss ideas, we come up with a good idea, we can go home and do it. Scientists have over the years been bogged down by the bureaucracy of doing science, by the regulatory limitations of doing science, by the financial limitations of doing science. I think people are now beginning to look at this in a way that says, we need to fund this differently. With the Parker Institute, we're actually taking away those roadblocks. To give you an example, we had an idea to do a clinical trial just a few months ago. That trial is open for business. Take risks, make big bets. Failure is okay. As long as out of failure you learn something, then we should be testing things that no one would have imagined were, were possible. Where there used to be despondency and frustration, there's now hope, real hope of long life. Cancer researcher has to be a pathological optimist. We always think we have to do better. But now it's not pathology anymore, now it's real. Now we're doing better.